there is a debate that whether cinema is a reflection of society or the society is a reflection of cinema. And I was saying no to a lot of work. At times it used to get like really dark for me to, you know, feel very suffocated. People, you know, romanticize Munna a lot for all the wrong things, you know, Jeep and guns yeah. and style yeah. and everything. When you come from a, a regular middle class family, yeah. it's not easy for your parents to just let you go and, you know, to say follow your dreams. A lot of people, you know, after watching Mirzapur and all, say it's too violent or ye and i always say dude this is the reality of your country and i was like dude first film mein itna sab kuch you know khatra uthana aapka munna ke bare mein kya kehna for me munna was a like a really troubled soul initially i was approached for babloo's character i was like you want me to really abuse girls wouldn't really appreciate, appreciate this wo dekh ke then i got a call for pyar ka punch it actually impacted you hmm. in your personal life as well so talk to me about that three boy film na it's it's like a sub genre now starting from american pie and all yeah, yeah. yeah. the kind of response i got from media ye to iconic hone wala hai boss ye fatega ja gaya kya bits up you know i exist all it's conspiracy theories on humans of bombay i shall declare Welcome to the show Devendu. Thank you. As you already know I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the show. No, I'm a big fan. Like okay. I'm having a <laughs> fan moment because according to me Munna bhaiya sitting in front of me oh. and I'm just like yaar <laughs> lots of questions <laughs> so many questions but thank you so much for coming. Oh it's my pleasure. Honestly I love your show. I love everything about your show. How I mean the ideology of your show, how you guys do it. Stories of a common man uh pain glory happiness whatever i really really admire your show thank you so much so i'm going to start in a very humans of bombay fashion then Anji. ki humne kahi pe padha tha that when you were asked when you were a child hmm. ki ab banna kya chahte ho hmm. log poochte hain hmm. you said hero <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> but is little divyendu happy ki actually to hero ban gaye hmm. is he no yeah no little divyendu is really really happy uh, feels blessed that this was my childhood dream for the lack of the better word hero bol diya but yeah <laughs> acting was always this thing uh so i'm really feel blessed yeah because <clears throat> though i have worked quite a lot mm. like hard work you know uh be it theater fti whatever i never took it for granted i loved this from the beginning and i always want to do this i'm so blessed that i do this today Yeah. People like me. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> Clearly. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not complaining. Hmm. And what was the experience like in college? You know, when you were theatre kar rahe the, when you were kind of figuring out. Lots hmm. of people figure out purpose kya hai, right? Yeah. Ki karna kya chahte hain maine yeah. jaake. To aapko kab pata chala ki mujhe acting hi karna hai? Decided actually profession ke hisab se. I tell you, Karishma, for me, no. It was. I think it was a default setting. Hmm. When I was born, I was clear. दैट क्या बनना है हीरो वाला आई मस्ट बी दिस इतना तब बोल दिया था सो इट वॉज ऑलवेज देर इज साम गार्जियन एंजल यू नो विद मी वो जस्ट कैप्ट शोइंग मी द वे कि ये है यस पैरली लाइक एनी यंगस्टर यू वुड वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन द फोर्सेज एंड यू नो एट वट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन लॉ बिकॉज आई स्टडीड पॉलिटिकल साइंस इन कॉलेज uh but then i did a play hmm. where i played a lawyer hmm. and i was like ho gaya <laughs> you know <laughs> complete <laughs> yeah so i realized uh, <clears throat> that uh, that an actor is what i want to be hmm. and after going to especially to my college kmc that you know it got pretty serious hmm. in schools also i was doing short stories and one act plays and everything <clears throat> but the whole culture our dramatic society is called the players Okay. And uh, we have a beautiful culture there. It's a lovely society. We have a lovely uh, staff advisor Kevala Rora. I mean, I learned so much there. Um uh, and uh, although it's a amateur theater group you would call because we are students, we work there like professionals. Mm. Uh raaton ko ghar nahi jana, puri puri raat, you know, rehearsals karna. So that gave me a lot of belief, a lot of strength to actually think that okay, I really want to pursue this as a career, a career. Hmm. and how was the fti experience aapke batch mein kaun the how was the two years oh smashing yeah. i mean i i'm so happy that after doing players i yeah. went to fti which just sort of completed the whole arc for me yeah. you know for my education in theater and then films hmm. because uh, <clears throat> also that's also a very interesting story because delhi say mostly you try and go for nsd hmm. okay 
uh, and for some reason, I, I mean theater is first love, but I was very sure that मुझे film acting करना hmm. I don't know why, how, कहाँ से ये दिमाग में था but था hmm. and uh, उसी साल जिस, जिस साल में पास आउट हो रहा था कॉलेज से एफ टी आई का एक्टिंग कोर्स री स्टार्टेड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स वाओ सो आई वॉज लाइक बॉस ये मेरे लिए ही बना <laughs> और मैं इसके लिए बनाऊ यू नो आई हैव टू डू दिस and uh, i think it's one of the best decisions of my life hmm. because going to fti i just i mean it's an it's a complete education you're not just going there to learn acting you're a film student there hmm. so first 6 months used to be an integrated course where you learn about editing about camera about sound everything yeah. so that makes you a complete uh, actor artist film student Correct. you know yeah. uh, because today if i go on a set I don't have this stupid idea that you know I'm the actor I'm the most important being here. Mm-hmm. Everyone's doing their own job and you respect them. Correct. And they respect you. Yeah. You know that's how it should be. I understand that if I while talking to you if I keep the glass like this instead of here mm-hmm. I mean my editor would just give me galleys and you know I'd just <laughs> make their life difficult. Difficult. Yeah. So you just understand the technicalities of it was very important. Mm. And who were some of your batchmates? Rasika Oh, she was your batchmate. Yeah, yeah, wow. was my batchmate, hmm. Rasika, who played my mummy in <laughs> Mirzapur. Oh, yeah. I call her cousin mummy. Yeah, you know, because uh, she's not the real mother. Hmm. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of people. Yeah, great memories of FTI. Hmm. And then when you came to Bombay, how was how was the transition? Because hmm. you call it a city of dreams, but yeah. it's very difficult. And it you is, also it is. took uh, you had a duration until that first break happened. Yeah. So what were those years like? Oh um, I mean it was fun only because I was you know living with my friends hmm. so I I don't really have a sob story no, you know with my yeah. this thing um uh, but yeah the, the the only thing was that it took me a lot of time to figure out how things work Correct. because uh then it was a very very disorganized industry hmm. you know now thankfully we have good casting directors yeah. you know uh, where young actors can you know approach them give auditions and stuff that time utna organized nahi tha so to understand all that uh, took a while or uh, so i you know you go for these auditions uh, ads auditions mm. and i was coming from theater nft i was like listen this is a audition piece whatever it is this is my interpretation of the text mm-hmm. okay i'll do my way to uske baad nahi pasand aata hai it's fine but let me do it my way no mm. otherwise all 20 of us sitting here would do it the same way correct तो मतलब अलग कैसे होगा सो दे नेवर अप्रिशिएटेड दिस थॉट ऑफ माइन एंड सो आई यूज टू हैव ऑल्टरकेशन देयर एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो दैट आई फाउंड बिकॉज आई हैड दिस रोमांटिक थॉट ऑफ यू नो कमिंग आउट ऑफ फिल्म स्कूल एंड यू नो आई वुड ओनली डू आर्ट हाउस सिनेमा एंड यू नो नेवर गोन आ कम रियली ऑन द कमर्शियल साइड ऑफ थिंग्स सो या इट जस्ट या टू कॉम्प्रीहेंड हाउ दिस होल थिंग वर्कस again lazy guy not hyperactive going meeting people hello hi not no. my game yeah. at all yeah. uh so yeah uh, what do you call it the f- opposite of fomo jomo jomo huh. jo of mr yeah <laughs> yeah so like super jomo hmm. uh so but yeah luckily it happened uh, and that way i find myself very very lucky because i never did anything going to extra auditions like people have this these stories mm. and a lot of them do also like you know going to morning usme evening the auditions dete rehte hain they go around uh, aram nagar that time there used to be andheri west near roshi wala shri ji's karke ek hota yeah. that's also audition hub yeah. of this thing and people really put in a lot of effort you know but for me i could never ever connect to that whole working of that system mm. i was like this is just this is this was i mean yeah not being arrogant here hmm. but i was like dude i i know better yeah you know i itne saal mein school se laga hua hu yaar you know to do plays college fti i was like not this man yeah. like come on ye to nahi ho sakta yeah. so thankfully yeah i just got lucky i got my break and all <laughs> so yeah <laughs> what was the break ah uh, the break was uh, that one ad we did uh, huh. for ipl indian panga league ke liye where i played a sardar But you did it your way or the script way? No, my way. Oh, you did it your way. So, so my way was the script way. Oh. 
बिकॉज आई वॉज वेरी आई नेवर यूज टू गो फॉर ऑडिशन एंड एवरी थिंग माई फ्रेंड सेट ये कहानी मैं काफ़ी बार दोहरा चुका हूँ लेकिन यही कहानी है तो सुनना पड़ेगा आपको दोबारा तो आई नेवर यूज टू गो फॉर ऑडिशन एंड माई फ्रेंड सेट चल एक ऑडिशन है इधर राम नगर में आई वॉज लाइक नहीं मुझे नहीं जाना उस लाइक चल यार यहीं पे पास में चल 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 लाइक चल वेन देर ऑडिशन चल रहा है एंड देर लाइक यार ये दिस इज अ बैंटर बिटवीन फ्रेंड्स और uh, आप एक दूसरे को यू नो गली वाली दे रहे हो तेरा टीम कुछ नहीं कर पाएगी होगा ना फाइन वट्स द स्क्रिप्ट यू सेट दिस इज द स्क्रिप्ट आई वॉज लाइक यू वॉन्ट मी टू रियली अब्यूज एंड बी लाइक यार ब्रो दैट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट यू नो विल प्ले ऑन दैट बी 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 दैट वॉज अ न्यू थिंग एट टाइम so be as candid as possible और मैं तो लाइक फुल कैडनेस की दुकान लेके उतर गया वहाँ पे यू नो आई जस्ट आई मीन क्या क्या बोला है मैंने लोगों को ऑडिशन में सो दैट समवेयर गॉट क्लिक विथ समथिंग बिकॉज आई वॉज जस्ट आई डोंट नो मेरे अंदर कुछ भरा हुआ था शायद कुछ टाइम से बट आई रियली फेल्ट लाइट आफ्टर दैट ऑडिशन एंड दैट समवेयर मेकर्स सो इट एंड सो आई प्लेड अ सरदार गाय इन दैट वो देख के देन आई गॉट अ कॉल फॉर प्यार का पंचनामा एंड इनिशियली लव सर थॉट दैट आई एम अ सरदार ओनली सो दे वॉन्ट टू कास्ट अ सरदार फॉर दैट रोल तो मैं वहाँ गया सो यूज लाइक यस आई वॉज लाइक आई वॉज कॉल्ड फॉर एन ऑडिशन आप कौन मैंने कहा दिव्यू दिस थिंग आप सरदार नहीं आई वॉज लाइक नो लाइक ओ सो मुझे लगा मैंने कहा यार ज्यादा अच्छी एक्टिंग कर दी वहाँ पे अब यहाँ काम नहीं मिलने वाला आई नो बट यू वॉज लाइक नो बट ठीक है स्टिल आई मीन द कोर ऑफ द कैरेक्टर स्टिल गोज लेट्स गिव एन ऑडिशन आई गिव एन ऑडिशन आई अगेन फेल्ट लाइक गुड कि अच्छा हुआ है कुछ एंड दैट वॉज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑडिशन आई मीन यू टूक इट वेरी नाइसली एंड आई फेल्ट गुड एंड आई गोड अ कॉल बैक for pyar ka panchnama yes. and now looking back how is that film for you because it was very iconic there lot mm. of iconic scenes in that also yeah. the characters everything yeah. how was that experience as your first film oh i mean lots of experiences i mean i'm so grateful because of that film but again very very scared of see so so pyar ka panchnama is a very definite point of view yeah. in the film yeah. you know yeah and i wasn't very sure of it i was like listen this is going a little too dark man you know it's below the belt you know <laughs> girls wouldn't really appreciate, appreciate this it, yeah uh, on top of that my character was again um, you know very emotionally volatile guy mm-hmm. you know bhi pyar se baat kar raha bhi gaali de dega kuch bhi bol dega and i was like dude first film mein itna sab kuch you know khatra uthana <laughs> you know then again chashma pehne ka champu dikhta hai mm-hmm. उस लाइक कि क्या मतलब बट द स्क्रिप्ट वॉज सो आई मीन वेदर यू अग्री विद द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ द फिल्म और नॉट बट इट वॉज रिटन सो फैंटेस्टिकली इट वॉज हिल आई वॉज लाइक लेट सी आई थिंक पीपल ऑफ आर कंट्री हैव अ सेंस ऑफ यूमर दे गेट इट यू नो सो आई जम्प इन टू इट एंड या आई थरली इंजॉय द प्रोसेस इट वॉज बट आई वॉज वेरी यूज टू बी वेरी स्केड इन साइड दैट you know people might say that you know this liquid guy is just little too in your face or so to give groundings to such characters na it becomes really difficult and yeah. i don't know why such characters they i mean just aa jate hain mushkil <laughs> and i always like kya main kyun karu ye you know isn't bahut mehnat hai yeah uh but yeah how people reacted to the film mm. uh the awards and everything after that like really was like it wasn't a bad decision i think yeah it was a very good decision yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> what were the experiences with some of your co-actors and did you relate because you were also living with four of your friends mm. and this is a very friendship oriented yeah. film so it was a relatability very high for you with your co-stars in a way in a way i mean yes i mean uh, all boy film so mm. you know that 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 feeling of it was yeah. there but uh, the other side it was completely different because i was playing an engineer yeah. and here you're an artist you know have nothing no, in yeah. common yeah. <laughs> you know very different thought process yeah. in life so no uh, commonality between these two but yeah just being a guy you know chilling with friends and stuff but it was a real real hard work to pull off liquid i was like yeah every day used to be work for me yeah. you know yeah yeah is eccentric types like very volatile yeah. character so 
सी अगेन इफ यू डोंट ग्राउंड दीज कैरेक्टर्स वेल पीपल वुड से यार इट्स 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 वेरी जर्की द कैरेक्टर हाउ इट फील्स अभी कैसा अभी कैसा है सो जस्ट टू मेक दो स्मॉल लिटिल ब्रिजेस फ्रॉम वन सीन टू दाइक द चाय वाला सीन वेर ही इज बकोइंग गाली टू द ये कैसी चाय एंड आफ्टर लाइक फाइव सेकेंड इज लाइक क्या चाय बनाई आई वॉज लाइक इज ही लाइक <laughs> I mean, not mentally stable. Or <laughs> matlab, what is going on with this guy? How yeah. how do I justify this kind of behavior? Yeah. Uh, but again, I mean, writing the power mm. of writing. We got an award for the film. Yes. And you dedicated that award to your mother. Mm. How was that? What, like, how did that entire experience feel? Right. Like, not in terms of validation, but just like it's my first film. You know, from yeah. that context. no also validation to a to a to a large extent mm. also uh, when you come from a, a regular middle class family yeah. it's not easy for your parents to just let you go and you know so to say follow your dreams mm. and uh, your dreams being an artist yeah you know it's not a dream that i want to be a doctor or an engineer <laughs> where parents are more than happy to say yes please go. let's all of us follow your dream yeah. you know <laughs> it's not it's being an artist which is you don't know where it's going to land hmm. uh so my parents uh of always been very very supportive of this thing also i think the fact that they realize that i'm not good at anything else in life so they were like isko yahi karne dena chahiye otherwise there is no scope yeah kuch aur hone wala nahi kuch nahi karne wala hai and uh, and then kahin na kahin jab i cracked nsd and ft aaya hai so i told them ki listen it's it's harder than cracking iit okay hmm. because it's just 20 seats hmm. four hour reservation hmm. 16 mein fight hota hai hmm. so then they also thought hmm, chalo kuch to i mean there is some merit in the guy yeah. you know <laughs> but still having said that i mean going to fti after that <clears throat> not getting work for some time in mumbai it happens with everyone hmm. uh, but to still be you know with your with your kid and say ke koi baat nahi ho jayega you know hmm. so i wanted to give that you know for society also it's it's, it's important that you you know tell them that you know my parents were you know behind my back you yeah. know so i thought it was important to do that hmm. and after that you've played all kinds of characters and some are funny some hmm. are very dark yeah. obviously we'll come to the darker ones <laughs> what how do you pick how do you pick the film how do you pick the the association with the character i want to do this Oh uh, see the for me first thing is the story is really important for me mm. it has to be engaging mm. okay uh if i like the story if i like the setting i would want to explore more then comes my character and i want to see whether my character is contributing something to the story the screenplay of the film or not yeah. uh, if it's there i like the setting uh earlier these two parameters used to be the final one now i think with age and you know experience you maturing uh, you understand that a good producer is also equally important mm. uh, you know uh, who's going to shape the whole thing yeah uh, and there are other factors also other technical departments your co-stars you know everyone uh, but yeah the core of it is the story if i like the story if mm. i would like to be part of this world i'm going to be in and the character fits majorly contributing in the screenplay of the film hmm hmm so now i mean obviously leading to that comes mirzapur which hmm. we were discussing offline yeah and you love the script hmm. and you love the munna character yeah. which is I so know. funny because he's in season 1 at least he was very like I was just like this guy is mad yeah. like he's just too so, brash yeah he's too and like you know he's again eccentric you don't know what he's going to hmm. do so how did you make that decision So honestly when I first the uh, read the first two episodes I knew that this is a banger of a script you know people will like it again because the way it was written and all credit goes to Puneet Krishna and Vineet Krishna brothers I mean it's not easy to write all that so authentically mm-hmm. and a lot of people you know after watching Mirzapur and all say it's too violent or ye and i always say do this is the reality of your country yeah you know it's like aap to manto ko bhi bol sakte the us time pe why are you writing such things and people used to say right mm. but it's important for any artist to show you the mirror yeah. that this is happening in the society mm. if you finding this disturbing 
that there is something wrong with the society let's go fix that mm. this is just a reflection of it yeah and i totally get it that there is a debate that whether cinema is a reflection of society or the society is a reflection of cinema mm. but i firmly believe that cinema is a reflection of society not the other way around mm. so whatever good bad ugly you like it's there it's already existing yeah. uh but yeah coming back to uh, the part uh, i read it and it was wonderful and initially i was approached for bablu's character mm. and i went ahead read it everything fine but there was this thing of ye jo munna character hai ye kaun karega again mm. stupid you know mm. chahe jo bhi ho jaisa bhi ho but kuch hai mm. uh and you know i don't know why also because before that na i was like really as an actor i was struggling in a way that people would always take me for a happy go lucky guy yeah. you know boy next door the funny guy yeah, yeah. that and i was like what he get but there there are other things also you know i have learned maine padhai ki hai boss mm. you know i can show you the other side also and uh, so i was like really like a very not a very happy soul during some time in my career hmm. because there was al- always work coming and i was saying no to a lot of work a lot of big production houses because i didn't want to repeat myself again and again i was like ye matlab fir na bahut boxed ho jayega yeah. ki ek tarike se hai so i think main itna pareshan tha na that finally god said okay giving you wait don't <laughs> sulk every day <laughs> uh so i got munna these guys called me they were like you know why what do you have to say about munna i said fantastic yeah uh <laughs> let's jam on it and yeah here we have munna and how was the set there were so many iconic co-stars like you were saying mm. co-stars are very important <clears throat> uh how was the set and what are some of the fun memories from the two years set was uh see uh, mirzapur the good thing is i still remember looking at the casting board mm. when we all got finalized and i saw all the faces i was like whatever it is this is so based on merit yeah you know no one's here just for the looks or the connections or whatever Th- these are all actors maza aayega kaam karne mein inke sath mm. and uh, sets were also i mean we used to have so much fun on mirzapur mm. uh and everyone was you know with their a game on yeah you know uh again going back to the importance of the script because the written word was so solid that we better be you know prepared for it yeah. otherwise it would just sound very fake official yeah. you know you really have to ground it yeah. uh but yeah, i have used to have like really lovely time shooting it because such intensity and you know dark hmm. things you need a break right yeah, after yeah. that yeah. so after few of the takes i only used to laugh you know that what the hell this guy is doing yeah. you know why would you shoot someone yeah what are some of the best off camera memories in the second season when he goes to sharad shukla and he says the iconic uh, uh, kya uska control lene aaye hain leke jayenge <laughs> wo so the scene was that cars were supposed to yeah. enter and you know piche sab hain and they were just supposed to enter because there is a uh, cremation n- not cremation after cremation some it's pooja and all hai na ha yeah wo chal raha hai sab baat and it's like action and they're chal rahi hai jeeps aa rahi hai aur piche suddenly these all the uh, uh, junior artists started going munna bhaiya bhaiya mai bhaiya munna bhaiya and i was like guru ne bataya nahi ye bhi hone wala hai Haan. you know so uh, i was looking at him i was like Mm. scene ka description alag tha you know it's supposed to be cold and dark and you know mm. come with some kind of intensity and this takes away from it you mm. know so guru also like maine bhi nahi bola hai so we called the ads kisne bola hai inko ye karne ke liye kisne nahi bola khud bol rahe hain what yeah it's so we had to tell them ke yeah we really appreciate your love but right now it's not required in this scene yeah so it, it just it's so amazing overwhelming mm. you can't comprehend such things in mm. life mm. what mirzapur how people so seriously take this character yeah it just just still blows my mind <laughs> yeah and the character arch was was fantastic because mm. you i was telling you offline you go from really thinking this guy is deranged yeah to really liking him yeah. and 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 believing that he's a good guy yeah. at the end of it yeah. and also what's interesting is that you know you were saying that i i used to only do funny roles mm. he was a funny guy mm. he was he was crazy but yeah. in the in the entire 
in the two seasons. He's actually very funny yeah. also. Um, so was that difficult to be this like crazy person, but also have that comic timing, you yeah. know, where some of the lines just landed and they've yeah. stayed. Yeah. Yeah. So I tell you when. Uh, Munna ke liye na, I was very clear not to go about this character as a negative character. Hmm. Okay, I was like, he's a normal guy, not normal, but he comes from a family where you know his father owns ammunition, arms, ammunition business, deal in drugs and everything. So, what would you expect a kid to be? You know, hmm. if on a dining table you talking about katte ponche, nahi ponche, uska kya hua, ye wo, he would always be you know product of that same thing. Hmm. So it was very important not to look at him in a negative way. For me, Munna was a like a really troubled soul. I always describe yeah. him. Because the only thing he wants in his life is the validation from his father. Yeah. That one day he would say, Munna bahut achha kaam kiya. You know, he doesn't have his mother. Mm. So there is no love there. You know, there is a complete vacuum. Father, and most of in our Indian societies also, fathers and sons, they don't really have that kind of emotional bond. Correct. You know, it's like two men, we don't really know always how to express ourselves. Mm. Uh, so that I took as a major cue to start operating this character from. Yeah. That was the core of the DNA of Munna for me. Mm. And then the flowery language of UP, you know, it, it, it was all written. Yeah. You know, yes, there were improvisations, yeah. but it was, I mean, it was so beautifully written that I could go jump on it and make it, you know, add my garnishing on top yeah. of it. But I never thought of playing it in a certain way that, okay, if it's giving a, he's giving a gali, that he really means it. No, it should come out like life, you know. <laughs> no one's really meaning that, unless until you're actually shooting a guy. That's a yeah. di different thing. Yeah. But, dude, this is life, you yeah. know, for Tripathis. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is what we do. we do. We do deal with guns and drugs and everything. So, never to underline those extra cuss words mm -hmm. or anything. So humor really played a very important part in it yeah. to, again, like uh, in script writing, you have the save the cat moment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, where you do something, but then you show some sort of, you know, goodness of the character also. Yeah. Uh, so I was very, very mindful of the fact that I don't want to make him a caricaturish character. Mm. I want to make him a, look a very, very real guy. Yeah. And people should see that he's he can also be vulnerable mm. at times. And it's... And behind this whole power and his showing of power and everything, he's just really a little kid who wants a validation from his father. Yeah. So how was your relationship with Pankaj Tripathi on set? Because it was such a complicated relationship yeah. on camera. Yeah. How was it outside? Oh, off camera, we are really good friends. Yeah. And yeah, we talk a lot. Um, and we talk about everything, not just acting, politics, nature. He also really loves nature. I also love nature. Yeah. Peed Podhe, Dunya Me Kya Chal Raha Hai, you know, Society Kaha Ja Rahi Hai, Amara Samaj Kaha Ja Raha Hai, we, we discuss all that. Uh, and yeah, I have re really good time, you know, uh, having a chat with him. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you know, you mentioned in a few interviews that when you were in this, this heavy space in Mirzapur where, you know, some scenes got very intense, like mm. for example, Killing the woman you really love yeah. in the show, yeah. it actually impacted you in a personal, mm. in your personal life as well. So talk to me about that. How does how does that happen and how do you kind of deal with such intense emotions that you carry on screen? Yeah, I think I should have dealt with them in a better way. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's like ear pressure. You don't always understand that it's there. But when once it goes off, you feel now that you're, there was a ear pressure. Hmm. Uh, so I was in it. I was in Munna and it was affecting my personality in a different way. Uh, so my wife used to point this out that, you know, you know, traffic pehle bhi tha road pe. Abhi nahi hai. Why are you reacting a certain way? And she would tell, what do you mean I'm reacting a certain way? Look at this guy, this, like all going intense in life. And uh, so it did affect me a great deal of, I don't know about dark thoughts. And uh, see, also such characters now, either you don't do them or you go deep into it. You know, there are no half ways of, you know, yeah. this thing, itna hi karke aa uh, So yeah, at times it used to get like really dark for me to, you know, feel very suffocated and uh, mm. I wouldn't react as the Vindu. Yeah. 
so it took a while and uh, i think that 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 connection is still there inside mm. you know it's like if you give the same chemical it would can go off it's like a switch inside you know yeah. it's there always now yeah it's like a hulk waiting you know <laughs> what's your secret i'm always angry you know it's that yeah. so but yeah now you're more mindful of the yeah. fact and i think when you do such dark characters one should definitely if you don't feel okay with it a we shouldn't over romanticize the fact of going too deep into the character because it's not easy it's 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 very painful yeah um uh, so we must realize that and uh, take help of a psychologist to just talk it out yeah. whatever but again it's so tricky that you don't even realize that you're in it yeah. it's only when you come out of it you realize that you were in it yeah. that you were behaving a certain way. way yeah and people would think hmm? <laughs> hmm? and you're like hmm, what huh? it's normal yeah this is normal and it's what? your problem is this is not normal <laughs> what was the hardest scene for you um compounder killing oh yeah that was heart breaking yeah heart breaking yeah. it was a really intense day on the sets i remember walking in and everyone you could feel it in the air that everyone was like so heaviness yeah. that they was there and also abhishek banerjee is a very dear friend of mine <laughs> again we come from a same college yeah. he's a college junior we've done theater mm. together and we used to have a blast yaar you know mirzapur season 1 to yeah. just brash na yeah. <laughs> like you know so a blast so to do that scene and again compounder is a character is very very close to munna yeah he's the only guy who was like a sort of motherly sort of figure jiske paas wo lad bhi sakta hai gaali bhi de sakta hai but he really would likes that that warmth of compounder yeah and uh, to do that tough, yeah, yeah. That, that was very very tough It was a tough scene to watch, also, because he took the fall. Yeah, he, he basically yeah. took the fall. And do you have such close friendships in life as well? I do. Yeah. 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 Who are they? Your college friends? What do you like outside? Right, like when you're hanging out, say, like Munna, but mm. in real life. No, no, like? in not real life. I'm not like Munna. In real <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but in real life, like yeah. as in like. No, I'm a very, very. I would like to believe I'm a very chill, happy-go-lucky guy. You know, yeah. no. Yeah. thankfully issues in life <laughs> no so much no issues yeah no <laughs> definitely not uh, i come from a very stable family you know <laughs> mom dad both no nice, issues, nice people yeah. yeah yeah we don't deal in such kind of business also yeah, yeah. uh so I, i i just do normal stuff here yeah. i yeah. love to travel um uh, yeah i love to swim mm. so i swim uh you love nature nature yes yeah. definitely uh, i love mountains oh, i yeah. could just sit look at the mountain for hours wow. like <laughs> and you know it's just so weird that i've been to mountain so many times but it still it has that same effect on me that's great that you know that <laughs> go like so like a friend of mine would be like yeah matlab yeah it's okay it's there it's, it's there, beautiful yeah. yes but what is it but there is something hypnotic yeah. about mountains yeah uh, that i love so yeah. i love mountains yeah yeah Last question on Mirzapur because I can keep talking about hmm. it, uh, which we don't want to do. Hmm. Uh, thoughts on season three now that it's around the corner? Yeah. What are your thoughts? I am not part of season three, guys. I know Many it's a heartbreak. Are, yeah. But all conspiracy theories, are, which I have read, which, each and every one. And I really respect those conspiracy theories. Yeah. They were legit conspiracy yeah. theories. Yeah. But. Uh, on humans of bombay i shall declare that i am not part of mirzapur season 3 so many heartbreaks <laughs> all the conspiracy theories of this heart the heart is in the wrong place he's once said that his heart is on the right side so he's actually not dead and i was like yeah also yeah. amar hai hum because yeah, he says yeah. so there is a reason yeah but no there is no reason <laughs> he's dead <laughs> gone <laughs> okay so that's sad so we we'll move on to <laughs> let's end this interview <laughs> <laughs> this is really sad <laughs> Now let's move on to happier topics. Uh, you speak about your wife; uh, she's all over your Instagram, and yeah. you look so adorable together. What's your love story? Where did you meet her? How did you meet her? College, college mates. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so again, she was part of the same dramatic society, hmm. and uh, we met there, and uh, we were best of friends for the longest time. Hmm. And I used to, I had feelings for Akanksha, but I used to really cherish our friendship. 
एंड उस लाइक यार मैं बोल के खराब ना कर दूँ बिकॉज जेनुअन लिटिल दिस डेट आई रियली लव आर फ्रेंडशिप बट हाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड ईच अदर एंड सो सो या जस्ट वहाँ से मैंने बहुत साल तक कुछ बोला नहीं एंड अल्टीमेटली आई थिंक वो बेचारी मेरे चाम के आगे कुछ नहीं कर पाई शी सरेंडर्ड एंड आई वॉज लाइक काफ़ी टाइम लगा आपको समझने के लिए बट नो बट वैन गर्ल्स गेट क्लैरिटी दे गेट क्लैरिटी लाइक दिस नॉट लाइक टक आई वॉज लाइक अच्छा ओके बट इट वॉज ऑल अलॉन्ग दीज इयर्स आई वॉज देर यू नो बट स्टिल शी शी इज़ अ लवली ह्यूमन बींग शी कीप्स मी ग्राउंडेड शी लवज लिटरेचर शी लवज फैशन सो going back after the shoot you know you i don't discuss about films or film industry or anything she would tell me uh, also she does these uh, casually i i mean she would say i am doing a course from harvard university i was like bike. yeah i was <laughs> like oh yeah that casual huh yeah. that subtle <laughs> in life but uh, so yeah you know talking about poetry she she would you know introduce me to poetry of see portuguese poetry mm. japanese poetry and so you have very different stuff to talk about yeah and uh, she is genuinely a very wise person in life mm. so a lot i take from her you know <laughs> yeah. it's like master teach me kung fu wow. you know every yeah. day yeah. and uh, Yeah, she's a good, good individual to have in your life. Mm. Yeah. So, what is love to you? What does love mean to you? In my case, it's actually pyar dosti. Yeah, hai. I was just gonna say. It. You know, I was gonna say. In it. my case, yeah. it's actually that. Yeah. But it's it's just that uh, comforting feeling of having someone with you. Yeah. Who understands you, uh, and uh, just be there with you in each and everything. You know. कुछ भी हो रहा हो लाइफ में जस्ट ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वेर यूर कमिंग फ्रॉम यू डोंट वॉन्ट अ पार्टनर हु वुड ऑलवेज कम विद सोल्यूशंस यू वॉन्ट अ पार्टनर हु वुड जस्ट लैंड अ ईयर टू यू एंड से टेल मी वट्स बॉदरिंग यू विच इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट विद मी टू एक्चुअली गो ओनली आकांक्षा कैन ब्रेक दैट एंड टेक आउट दैट वट एम आई फीलिंग सो सो जस्ट हर प्रेजेंस इन माई लाइफ is love mm. and she's always there with me in thoughts i often tell her she's like yeah you don't express much and stuff i was like in front of the camera i express so much there is hardly anything left you yeah. know behind the camera but i yeah she's always there with me in mm. my thoughts whenever anything i'm doing i always think that how would she react to this what would she say to this yeah. uh because again she's a she's a smart one yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's talk about another intense project that you did, um, which is Railway Men, and ah. uh, there were so many again different characters and arcs, and we interviewed Babel, and mm. he was super excited to be working with you and mm-hmm. spoke about it on the show. What was that experience like? Uh, because again, the the premise was very serious, and the premise was very like um, yeah. you know it's difficult as a subject yeah. to talk about. Yeah. So how was that experience? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was really intense, and uh, and also considering it's a very uh, the, it's a very fresh tragedy, right? Mm. Just nineteen eighty four. It's yeah. not like World It, War One yeah. or World War Two. You're talking about those people are still there. So we had a responsibility that you know uh, to represent their pain and agony, whatever happened, in a correct way. Uh, again railway men were very unsung heroes. Yeah, you know we don't really realize what all they do. They, it's the lifeline of our country you know agar ek train dusri jagah se na pahunche idhar with goods or people i mean it would be a complete chaos yeah uh so to uh, again to coming to my character it was it was it was sort of a device where you know to use it to break the heaviness also at the same time correct because it could have become very too morose and yeah. too grim for people to actually take it mm. uh so make it engaging because you can't make such things entertaining at all yeah, yeah. So, but make them engaging so to have a character like that who comes and you know just shows you the other side of being a human also yeah. otherwise you know everyone was very righteous and going for their duty and everything but you need to have people with insecurities 
Yeah. And that's what attracted me towards Balwan. That it was again, uh, there were a lot of issues with Balwan, insecure guy, you know, loner in life, mm. land uh, finds himself in a in this sort of a situation, wants to exit, but there is some humane part in him that wants him to stay back. back. Yeah. So that was really interesting to uh, uh, to explore, yeah. but again, really really tough one to crack. Yeah, and how was it working with say KK Menon? Oh, dream. Babel, yeah. <laughs> love, love yeah. KK sir. Babel again, such a, such a cool guy. Uh, we had so much fun. Loved working with KK sir. Always wanted to you know work with him. Such a great actor. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, he took a liking and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so it went well. Yeah. Derby lagta hai na? People yeah. you really like that yeah. shouldn't say, ke, what the hell you're doing? You yeah. know? But he was too kind and too loving. Yeah, it sounds fun. Mm. And speaking of fun, Madgao Express mm. has been getting some amazing reviews. We were yeah. talking about it offline. Again, a funny role. So, yeah. like, it's like you can switch from very intense to very funny mm. really quickly. Uh, how is that experience? Again, three boys. There's this. There's this pattern. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's but like a th see three boy film, na? It's it's like a sub genre now. Correct. Not just here in the West also. Yeah. Lot of three boy films, you like know, hangover. starting from American Pie and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, to tab se hai. Uh, so it's a sub genre, and uh, but yeah, the, again, the thing was to because Dodo is mad, you know, <laughs> ye bhi karega, wo bhi karega, kuch bhi sab kuch life mein. Again, to you know. Crazy guy, yaar. and I was saying, I don't know why I get these characters. You attract these characters. Yeah, for some reason, which I'm in life, I'm not at all like that. I don't know, it's the opposites attract, it's a lot of things. So, just to, because he had this certain energy about him, uh, you know, he's always on the go, always charged up, and everything. Uh, again, a lot of hard work because I find comedy is really, really hard. <laughs> Listen, because you don't have any background score, dramatic yeah. lighting to, you know, to, you know, bacha ke nikal jata hai kai bar scenes mein. <laughs> but in a comedy, you, you're just out there. Yeah. In and you front have to make people. people laugh. It has yeah. to land. Yeah. 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 And you have to do it take after take. Yeah. And you can just wish and pray that you get good co-actors, <laughs> a sensible crew, and, you know, people would like it and yeah. laugh with yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. So, again, like they say, comedy is a serious business. It is definitely a very serious business. <laughs> but it's going well. It's going well, yeah. It's going yeah. well. The reviews have been amazing. Yes, I yes. think people are laughing. That's, yes. that's a huge comment. They're very, very happy. Yeah. I was telling you, the kind of response I got from media is like I've never seen anything like this in my 10, 12 years. Wow. When the media came out, they were behaving like, so to say, a common man. Hmm. And why I say common man, we all are common, but media watches a film every Friday. Yeah. So, you know, you don't find things that exciting. It's like work for you at yeah, the end of the day. Yeah. But I saw girls giggling and, you know, <laughs> boys, big, uh, I mean, mans just <laughs> jumping and saying, Baut achha, and, you know, it's like, so you feel, achha, hai, kahin na kahin, it's landing nicely. Yeah. So congratulations on that one. Thank and you. hope it does. I'm going to watch it soon. So, yes, please. Uh, I'm excited now to also laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll go to the next segment. It's called Things About You We Couldn't Find on Google. So done a lot of research. All right. And this wasn't there. <laughs> a characters of yours, you're the closest to. Which character? Hmm. Mushkil hai. None? I don't think so. No. See, also I'm a Gemini in life. <laughs> so I have seven lives in me, you know. <laughs> so to find one such character would it's be tough. very, very tough. Okay. No, I don't think so. A character you wish you played? So many. I mean, uh, so many are. Mm. Like recently, anything you saw on your like sure. Like I really want to do like a um, catch me if you can. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I want someone like Nasir Saab hmm. and me. Oh wow! Yeah. That would make a cool film. Yeah. Like <laughs> Maza hega. Yeah. The most expensive thing you've bought recently. Yeah, I mean, these are not nice things to discuss. But yeah, I spend a lot on my uh, uh, on my shoes. Uh, yeah. But I think the most expensive would be a car. You know, car, about. yeah. Your favorite thing about Bombay? 
uh, there's so many things about Bombay. It just uh, lets you be. Mm. Whoever you are, yeah. wherever you come from. Also the fact that it's so safe for women. Yeah. You know, I was coming from Delhi. <laughs> Delhi is intense, yeah. you know. So you, not just for girls, for boys also, <laughs> you know. People are intense there. Yeah. Uh, so that is one thing I really appreciate about Mumbai. And I yeah. really hope it will change now. That yeah. it gives this sense of security. Yeah. To girls definitely, but to I think to anyone and everyone. Yeah. So Bombay or Delhi? Mumbai. 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> What's your comfort food? Mm, um, could be two. two uh, uh, Italian. Okay. Or uh, give me uh, Mughlai. But towards Avadi cuisine. Okay. Uh, the Lucknow ah, part of it. Yeah. Very specific. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Your biggest fear? Uh, I mean, it's uh, fear as in, uh, like I can't sit on rides. Oh. Yeah. Like amusement park rides? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I can't sit on rides. Like ever? Ever. Okay. The best I can do is bumping cars. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I mean, there are f fears in life also. Like I deeper mean, fears in deeper life. Deeper fears in life also. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you don't want to talk no. about it. No. Okay. <laughs> the best compliment you've received on your work? And from who? Recently. Hmm. Javed Akhtar Saab. Oh, wow. Okay. So he saw Madgaon Express. Yeah. He came out of yeah. the screening. And I was about to... Introduce myself. Hello, sir. I'm hmm. Demi. And he said, Janab, now you'll introduce me. Oh, wow. I was like, Javed, sir, you know I exist. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, Bilkul, we've seen a lot of work. What is the range, hai, sir? Aapki? Itne mein maine, I just hugged him. No, so I was sorry. like, sorry if you yeah. feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but I please, this is once in a lifetime. Yeah. Coming from Javed, sir, yeah. who's such a sharp, witty, critique of things and you know really someone who really treats merit in life yeah. he when he said I mean aapko serious bhi karte dekha hai comedy bhi karte dekha mm. hai I was like yeah I don't mind this sir just <laughs> please bolte jahi you can keep talking <laughs> bolte jahi mein bilkul nahi rokunga ki aap kaisi baat kar rahe hai I was like I'm bohat achi baat kar rahe please keep on so yeah Javed Akhtar sahab Okay, fantastic. Down to the last question. So now we've covered your journey, we've understood different shades, all of that. Uh, what advice would you give to people, the youth, because mainly youth, they yeah. their Amara show, uh, who are trying to kind of find their way or uh, maybe are struggling somewhere hmm. at some point in yeah. life. What advice would you give them? I would tell them, A, whatever you want to do, do it with sincerity, you know. Uh, following your dreams is very important but although at the same time it's very important for you to see where you actually stand in life yeah. so to actually see yourself in the mirror the real you is very important yeah. no short skirt uh, short cuts in life uh, you I mean you have to put in the hard work I I'm a that is I'm a very old school guy I go by the book you mm. know you want to do something go get trained in that you know, uh, don't just faff around in life, you know, take it seriously, respect yourself yeah. and uh, keep at it yeah. and you will arrive to your preferred destination in life, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Also, it's not just only about the destination, it's about the journey also. So let's not forget, mm -hmm. like people always say you're struggling days in no struggling days. It was a beautiful journey. It was it was just that you're traveling in a train. And just that you don't know where your station would come. Yeah. Correct? It's that. But don't be constantly on the toes, station kab aega. Just look out the window, see the scenery, react with people, you know, meet people. Just be honest. It's mm. very important. Yeah. Be true to yourself. Yeah. That's good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank less you. Less filters in life. Less filters. <laughs> yes. Everywhere, on Instagram yes. or otherwise. Yeah. In life, less filters. Thank you so much. It's been lovely. I yes. could have chatted for way longer, mm -hmm. but we have time. And thank you so much for coming. And it's been so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. If you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Thank you all for being the best community. And I'll see you soon.